Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am just ready to blow my head off because I just recorded two videos. One with the Teostra, which I've just done, and in the middle of it, one with the Valhazark. And I just noticed that my fucking volume was non-existent. Didn't really set things up, so let's do that again. Let us do that again. My fight with the Teostra went so goddamn well. And unfortunately... You know, it, it just... I wasn't paying attention to my recording, so... Guess we're gonna have to try again. Wait, I've got a bunch of stuff on me. Oh, I've got my, um, mic pills. Let's try and use that. Alright, the Teostra, round two. I did beat him on my first recording, but... I'm gonna have to do it again, because... I am a mongrel. Right, same thing. Although, unfortunately, I won't be able to... Show off the cutscene for this guy. Which is a shame, but whose fault is it? But mine. And plus it's a shame because the um, the huntsman, the guy with the raffian arm and the, the longsword, he gave a good motivation to help me with this fight, so if I die then it's gonna be, that's gonna be why, because I don't have the um, the motivation from that guy. Right, so when you're fighting the Teostra, you get to unlock this uh, this secret lair of his. And it's actually really cool because it's not like encased. It's like the only area in the. <gasps> oh my god! Already this um. This uh, playthrough is a train wreck. And where is he? He's not even here. Oh, that's strange. Oh my god, I'm sneezing. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, where could he be? Now this is the um, the issue here. Oh, there he is. Look at him soar through the sky. Oh, did you see how he just turned his head at like a really uncomfortable angle? You just look really weird. Alright, okay, I need to calm myself down because I'm still pissed off that my recording was... was... broken. Well, it wasn't broken, I just didn't have any sound. Alright, the Teostra. Not much has changed with him in this game as compared to the older games. Except he's just visually better. There we go. And I'm gonna need to be a little bit more quiet this time around so I can focus. I think I avoided that. Oh, and I'm bouncing. I gotta be careful with his with his um, forearms. Or four legs, I should say. Okay, this is where the fun starts and he's angry. Now his fire armor, that's also one of the um, the key things that the Elder Seal weapons would be able to mitigate. If you got an Elder Seal weapon, you'll be able to not be affected by his... Um... Oh wait, what am I talking about? If you've got an Elder Seal weapon, that means you'll be able to knock him out of his fire armor. That's what I was trying to say.
Whereas in the past games, all you need to do is just do a little bit more damage to him. And then you're all set and ready to go. I really wish I've got some, um, a fireproof mantle to get this fire crap out of the way. Oh yeah, that damage, that, that attack that he just did that does a ton of damage. As is his um, little flamethrower attack. Although when he does his flamethrower attack, he does leave himself a little bit more open. Not bucking me off, mister. Although what I should do with the whole cutscene thing is I should try and like get the sound from like a from an intro video of this guy and then try and restore my old file because the only reason why I'm doing this again is because there's no sound. And if I try and restore my um my other file. Oh shit. Oh god. You gotta be careful. Because if this guy stuns you, then he really does take advantage to it. Oh, he's down. Alright, come on. I really want to break that horn. Oh, lovely, you're doing your flamethrower attack. Yeah, in this position, you you would prefer him to do that flamethrower attack because he does leave himself open, and he does stay in one spot. Oh, god damn it! You and your bloody bouncing. Why does he... He doesn't really have that much um, armor on him. Now see how less annoying this fight is compared to the fucking Gushel of the Aura. The fire armor I'm okay with because I'm not getting I'm not getting stunned in one spot and blown away. Like do need to be careful when he does go and do, does his super supernova. Now he's in his fire armor. His proper fire armor. Oh, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. That dive attack also does a ton of damage. There we go, there's a supernova. It'd be really nice if I have um, some flash pods. Knock him out of the sky while he's doing it. Oh, speaking of, su of his um, supernova, if he is with Lunastra, when L Lunastra got released or introduced in this game, if they're both in the same area and if they do that supernova, they do this really cool animation where they're synchronized. And oh boy, if you get hit by that, their combined supernova, oh shit, that is a instant one hit. Oh, you're lucky. Where are you? Oh, he's doing this. That's fun. Yeah, he is a lot more tolerable than compared to his wife. Because Lunastra is a bitch. And it's not even the fact that your, um, your fireproof mantle can help against her, because her flames just does a ton of damage.
<laughs> oh, he does a counter attack too. Whenever you flinch him. Come on, stop. It really does feel as though the roaring in this game is just a lot more dangerous compared to other Monster Hunter games. Aha, uh -huh, I evaded through the um the sparkly bits. God damn it, the the bouncing is non-stop, dude. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, that's not good. Oh no, I'm stunned, fuck. Oh my god. No! I will not die. Got no excuse to die. Alright, where where is he gonna go? Oh he's gonna go to that area with the um the guys oh no, the um Lavazios uh, secret playground. Jesus Christ, sorry for sneezing earlier. I have literally no idea. It just came out of nowhere. And I hate sneezing because sneezing is just gonna like ruin the um, the mic. It just gonna peaks it. Like really badly. There we go. No, goddamn. When he's in rage mode and he's got his fire armor on, he unleashes that supernova really quick. And I really and I don't want to keep my distance with this guy because Oh, there we go. face. Oh, you prick. That doesn't make no sense whatsoever because I'm literally behind him and yet I still get followed by his um, his hitbox. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Divine blessing, man. Is it OP? Well, it doesn't really matter if I'm the one who's reaping the benefits from that thing. There we go. Let's see if I can break his, um, his head. And I love this uh, mount theme of his. It's like we're all dancing in the air. Right, let's see if I can break his horns. From this mount. There we go. I can just imagine if I'm editing my videos. Oh, there we go. There's my um my break. If I'm editing my videos and I just find out that I just know um there's no sound and I tell you that I'm really liking the music, it's like what the hell is this guy talking about? He's going. He's going to his secret lair. I think we all know what we should do. They say it's strong enough to take out elder dragons. And this is actually really fast compared to my my other recording of the Teostra. My first recording, I mean. Let's see if I can kill him in less than 16 minutes. Alright, let him go to bed. Oh, I don't even have my, um, my juice. Oh, please be a, a bomb kill. Oh, just not enough. chair is just squeaking like no tomorrow. Oh. 
Oh my god, this stupid geyser. Oh my god, I swear. Oh, of course, of course I get up when the fucking animation's about to die. Oh, there goes my um, hopes of, um, of killing this guy in less than 16 minutes. There we go. Oh wow, I actually did kill him in less than 16 minutes. Nice. Alright, there we go. There we go, that's how... That's how you record the fucking video. For being prepared and then knowing that I've got the fucking volume on. Alright, that's it. That's the Teostra. Which is really nice because this is the second time I'm fighting him and I actually didn't die. Alright, okay. Up next is the Valhazark. Uh, 